Hello all, welcome to part 73 of Test NG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate uninstalling Test NG plugin from Eclipse IDE editor. So let's get started. So how to uninstall Test NG from Eclipse IDE? I am going to practically demonstrate in this session. Before that, we should have this Test NG plugin already installed in Eclipse IDE. Otherwise, we cannot uninstall. Let's cross check that. So here we have this Eclipse ID editor. So there are multiple ways of finding out or checking whether TestNG plugin is already installed in this Eclipse ID or not. That is one of the ways. Go to Window menu, select Show View option, then go to Other, and here type Filter Text. There you type TestNG. If you are getting TestNG option, that means TestNG is already installed in this Eclipse ID. This plugin is already installed in Eclipse ID. Okay. Now what is other way? You can go to Help menu. Select install new software, already installed. Click on this already installed. Here, search for test engine. If you are getting some test engine related stuff, that means test engine is already installed in this Eclipse ID. Okay, these are the two ways to figure out whether test engine is already installed in Eclipse ID editor or not. Now, since the test engine is already installed, guys, so what is the process of uninstalling the test engine from Eclipse ID? Same process, guys. Again, we have to go to Eclipse ID editor, then go to help menu. Install new software option we have to select. And in that link, in, in that install new software dialog, we'll get a link known as already installed option will come. Link option will come. We have to click on that and we have to select that all the testing related stuff and select an install option. I'll show you. Here we have to go to help menu. Select install new software in Eclipse ID. Okay. You'll get this uh, available software dialog where you will find this what is already installed. Okay. Click on that. And here you'll get all the things that are already, all the plugins that are already installed in Test uh, Eclipse ID. Here, filter the installed software with TestNG keyword. So you'll get all the things that are related to TestNG guys that got installed, okay? TestNG plugin related uh, software that got installed in Eclipse ID. So press control and uh, you see select all these uh, three options related to TestNG, 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 I'm doing. Tomorrow you may, get, you may get less number of things, either more number of things, whatever the things that are related to TestNG with this name, right? Select all this stuff, okay? and click on uninstall option here, uninstall button here. So in a while, you see the calculating uninstall validity, the process started guys, okay? In a while you'll get this uninstall dialog and uh, click on finish button, uninstalling the software. TestNG is getting, TestNG plugin is getting uninstalled from this Eclipse ID now, 18% is done. Let's wait for the complete uninstallation to complete. You'll be asked to restart your Eclipse ID. We'll restart that as, as asked, okay? You got the dialog, you see restart Eclipse ID to apply the software update, restart now. So you see Eclipse ID is getting restarted, okay? Once the Eclipse ID is restarted, we'll confirm and check whether uh, TestNG plugin has been really uninstalled or not, we'll check, okay? So it's getting uh, restarted. Let's wait, for, let's wait for the Eclipse ID to get restarted, guys. Once it is restarted, we'll check that, okay? Again, we'll go to the same places like, uh, okay? The same menu options and uh, find out search and find out whether TestNG is uh, uninstalled or not. Okay, if the TestNG options are not coming in either of the ways, we can confirm that TestNG plugin has been successfully uninstalled from Eclipse ID, okay? So we are almost there. Let's wait. It's starting the Eclipse ID. Okay, so Eclipse ID has restarted, guys. Now go to Window, select Show View as usual, select Other, and here search for TestNG. You see, now this time TestNG option is not coming. That means TestNG got uninstalled, plugin got uninstalled from Eclipse ID. Similarly, select install new software. Already installed, select already installed in this dialog and uh, type TestNG here. If you are not finding anything related to TestNG, that means TestNG is successfully uninstalled from Eclipse ID. So hope guys, you understood how to uninstall TestNG from Eclipse ID in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another topic on TestNG for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.